Hello everyone. If you see, if you remember, in our previous class, we installed the eyes in the VMware workstation. If you see here, I am using this one eyes 2.7. Just we need to click here and it will come, and we will click start. Then we will have and we will log in. I already log in here. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn some CLI command of the eyes. Okay. So we can do here, but it look very small so what i will do i will take the putty with the putty we can access the eyes so here what i select i selected the ssh because by default ssh is enabled if you remember we selected the option yes so port number is 22 for ssh and our ip is 192.168.65.200 okay if you see we log in we are we are having the login prom and if you remember the password we keep username we keep admin and the password we keep capital a small b c uh, dollar 1 2 3 4 okay i press that one okay i press i think uh, wrong password capital a small b c at the rate One two three four five. Okay, whatever password you keep, uh, type that one. Okay. So now I am here inside the eyes. So I will minimize this one and we will see this one. So now we are going to learn CLI command for eyes. If you have any doubt, just press question mark here. You will get the commands. I press the question mark. What commands we can perform here? We will get. we can type application we can type backup backup log banner clock configuration if you want to go in configuration we can do that one so anyhow example if i want to check something i will write show version okay so with this one i will verify what is the version of the cisco eyes if you see here we are using the 2.7.0.356 and this is a install date and this uh, this is a built Build date this one and this is the install date when I install this one. Okay, so we have so many command. If you want to learn this command, just you need to type the question mark so you will get the commands here. Okay, like this one. Same like Cisco router or Cisco switch, we can do this way. Example, I will write show. Okay, I will write show and then I will press question mark. So what are the commands I can run after show? I I will get. If you see, I get this one. this all i can perform if i want to check the clock i can write show clock so we will get that one if i want to write the show ntp we will get the show show ntp we will get whatever ntp is configure here and if you want to get the show press question mark if you want to check if you want to check the show user we will get the show user which user is login if you see we we have two user login one is login with admin and this is login by line okay ssh line and another line also this one if you see i log in here okay so that's why it is showing two two user both are having the same login detail but we have two login one is ssh with uh, one is with the browser so if we want to do any global config if I, if we want to do any configuration we need to go in the global configuration mode then we can perform any configuration we want to do same like we do for the router if you see i press question mark i have here i can set the clock i can uh, change the name example if i want to change the name i can write here host name and whatever name i want to give if i want to give eyes i will change but they will give the warning if you want to change we can change because i already open there also that's why so if we, example if we, if i don't want to change i will say no but if i want to change i will change but it will restart the service so now we don't want to change anything but just i want to show you okay if you press question mark again you will have the option here you can see whatever comments we can perform but don't worry don't worry uh, most of the cli command we are not going to use we are going to do the configuration with the gra GUI only. If you see, we have the three services that is operation, policy, and administration. Mostly, we are going to play here only. 
okay mostly we are going to play here only and we are going to do the all the configuration in the gui only graphical user interface so no need to worry about the cli just i want to show you that that's why i make this small video okay if you want to exit you will type exit and then you will be back to the uh, back from the global configuration mode try to play just write show and press question mark you will get try to perform one by one example if i want to check the cdp show cdp neighbor i don't have any neighbor so i will not get the anything here but if we have any neighbor same like in router what we do same thing okay if i want to check the cpu i can write show cpu it will show you it will show us what are the cpu is present and how much it is uh, utilized all that information we will get here so just press question mark whatever you are getting just type that one you will get okay example i will write show and then we will write the process or press tab automatically it will come the command so whatever process is running it will show you okay whatever process is running it will show us okay let me exit this one let me exit this okay it is not exiting let me so if you see we can uh, perform the many operation okay by cli we can do many operation by the cli just write the show press the question mark whatever you want to check just press question mark you will get if you want to check the running configuration we can write show and then write run let me write run and press tab key you will have the running configuration same as we do for the router same like that we need to do here okay so no need to worry uh, we are not going to use the cli sometime only we will use most of the time we are going to use the gui in the real scenario also we are going to use the gui so in our next class we are going to learn about the uh, what option we have in the gui okay thank you bye